Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back. I've got CN Designer Dips April Flavor of the Month. So we're going to use three of these colors today and do a leopard print inspired Manny. So these colors are so beautiful. I get excited every month for what they're going to come out with. So I'm going to be starting with my solids first. So the first one I have is called Petal Soft, I believe is the name. It's a beautiful soft pink color. So I'll be using the CN Designer Dips Dip Liquids as well. So we're just going to get straight into the normal dipping process. So this is going to go both on my index finger and middle finger and I'm going to do two dips each and then cap and clear as usual. And this is also going to be the base for where I'm going to do my leopard print mani, but I'm not going to do an all over leopard print design. I decided I wanted to do just like a strip down the middle of my nail. It actually ended up a little bit wider than I had anticipated, but either way, that's kind of what I was planning to do with this mani. If you haven't tried doing your own leopard print, just wait till you see how easy it is. I feel like it's one of those things where, because there's no like really right or wrong way to do it. I feel like it's really hard to mess up. It's really up to your interpretation of how you want to do it. And it's really fun to do. So of course I had to add a little glitter to it. So I'll show you what I do for that. I have kind of my go-to nail art that I like to do. I like to do flowers a lot, which I'm sure you've seen a lot on this channel, hearts. And I definitely love to do leopard print as well, which is kind of funny because I say maybe a few years ago, maybe a little more than that, I actually didn't like leopard print and I don't know what changed, but I am now obsessed with leopard print. I think it's because I've never been really a brown tan fan. And like I used to always just see leopard print in that brown color, but then you started seeing it in pink, in white, in all different colors. And that kind of made me fall in love with it. And I'm curious, do you have a go-to print that you like to do or you're always attracted to? I'll say the one print that I've always wanted to try and I've been too scared to try is zebra print. There's something about it. I kind of like the way zebra print looks. It seems like it's one of those it looks easy, but it's not. Maybe one day I'll get brave enough to try it, but I, I am kind of eyeing that thinking maybe I need to give it a shot. But anyway, I haven't really been paying attention to what I'm doing. So I finished up my first layer of Petal Soft. I dusted off the excess powder once it completely dried. So now I'm working on my second layer before I move on to my next solid color. Now that I finished with my two layers of Petal Soft, I'm going to move on to Unconditional, which is my other solid. So this is also a mainline color along with Petal Soft. And this is a medium to dark gray color. And it did end up a little bit sheerer on the first layer, but that may have just been my peel base making my dip base dry a little bit faster. I can't really say for sure. But after two dips of this, I do get full coverage. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but pink and gray is one of my favorite color combos. I mean, obviously, you know, purple is my favorite color of all time, but gray is my second favorite color. And I love the way pink and gray pair together. I actually really love yellow and gray together too. I think gray just pairs with a lot of different colors and gray is probably my favorite neutral color. I don't know, can you call gray a neutral color? Either way, it's my favorite neutral color. So this is gonna go on my thumb and pinky and I'm gonna do two layers of this and then I'm gonna cap it in clear. I'm gonna wait to cap my petal soft nails, the pink nails in clear because I wanna do that leopard print first. But before I move on to the glitter for the gray nails unconditional, I wanna go ahead and cap them in clear and activate it so that I don't contaminate them with glitter.
have a huge four ounce jar of the Sea and Designer Dips Ultra Clear 2020, but I actually split it among two smaller jars. And that way I have a glitter clear and a solid clear. And that way I don't contaminate my solid clear with a glitter. And that kind of makes it easier because obviously the reason I'm capping my solid and clear in the first place is to not contaminate it. Because inevitably, even if I dust off the excess glitter, even if I scrub it with a stiff scrub brush, I always get a stray piece of glitter into my clear whenever I'm dipping into it. So whenever possible, I like to keep separate jars. Ideally, I would do the same for my dip liquids, having a separate set for clear, uh, not clear, for my solids and a separate set for glitter. I've tried that before, but then I get lazy and I forget and I accidentally use the wrong liquid. So I just don't even bother with that anymore. So when I'm working with a glitter and I get glitter stuck in my dip base brush, what I'll do is I'll try to wipe it off on a paper towel, but sometimes those glitters are really stuck in there, especially the smaller pieces. They become really difficult. I'll actually put it against like a lint-free wipe or a paper towel, and then I'll take something a little bit sharper, like my precision tool or an orange wood stick, and I'll kind of scrape through it, kind of brush through the bristles of my dip base brush to try to get those glitters loose and remove them. So anyway, now that my dip base is completely dry. I want to make sure that I'm giving my clear a good scrub with a stiff scrub brush. This is going to ensure I'm removing all the excess clear and make sure I don't get any graininess or cloudiness with using the clear. And now that I've brushed off the excess, I'm going to go ahead and activate these nails. So I usually apply a generous amount of activator because that's going to be my activation layer before I go in and file and buff. So I want to make sure everything is completely hardened. But I'm not going to file and buff just yet. I'm going to wait till all my nails are done. So I've got a glitter nail on my ring finger and then I'm going to do the leopard print on my index and middle finger. And then I will cap everything in clear and file and buff everything together. So let's go ahead and get into the glitter. So this is Lullaby. This is a new dip that was created for the flavor of the month and it is just so beautiful. So this kind of has finer glitters in it. It's got silver and pink and blue and it just goes so well with these colors. It kind of gives me like baby shower type vibes but it's still really beautiful. So I'm going to do two layers of this on my ring finger. I actually wish I could have done more fingers with this glitter just because it was so pretty and it was so easy to work with. And I actually loved this glitter so much that I decided to use it for my leopard spots just to make them a little more blingy. So I'm finishing up my first layer on my ring finger. I'm pressing down the glitters, even though they're fine glitters, they're not really sticking up. I dust off the excess on in my trash can just to make less of a mess. And now for my leopard print, I want to be able to lay my finger into the glitter. So I poured my jar into my Chaos Gemerald by Chaos Concepts. And so I'm going to be using my dip base for this. So I'm going to use this liner brush. This is from Beatles. And I've got this little baggie here. So I'm going to just place a dollop of my dip base onto my baggie. And that way I can easily dip my liner brush into that. And then down the middle of my nail, I'm just going to randomly place dots down it. They're going to be a little staggered. It's not, they don't have to be like perfect circles. And then once I've got that down, I'm going to lay my finger flat into the glitter to pick up the glitter. So I'm going to do the same thing for my middle finger as well. And this is going to be a trust the process because right now it looks like nothing. It looks like I have random glitter dots down the center of my nails, but we will make it look like leopard print. I promise. My glitter spots bled together a little bit and I think my dip base was just too wet when I laid my finger down flat in so they kind of mushed together. So I want to separate them a little bit before my dip base completely dries. So I'm just taking the pointy end of my precision tool and I'm going to just push in the lines a little bit to make them a little more separate, a little more defined. And that way I can get into the leopard print and it's not like just one huge giant glitter strip down the center of my nail.
I'm going to use my gel liner L2, which is the black. This is from CN Designer Dips as well. And I'm going to use this to complete the leopard print look on my nail. So I find that no matter what brand of gel liners I use, even though I store my liners upright, they still have a ton of product on them. So I always want to make sure that I'm scraping off the excess product because I don't want too much gel. And these liners are really great because the brushes are so thin, so they make it a lot easier. I just want to make sure that I have just a little bit of gel and not too much and I don't want it to drip. So what I'm doing is around the glitter spots that I have, I'm just not outlining the entire thing. I'm just drawing three lines to outline it, kind of dotted type lines around the outside of these spots just to give it kind of that leopard print look. If I need a little more gel, I'll go back in the bottle, but I'm going to do this for all these spots. And then after I finish that, I'm going to go ahead and just randomly place like some dots some they're not really dots maybe some spots some other spots with the black just to kind of fill in a little bit of the blank area so i hopefully you can start to see kind of where that leopard print is coming together because around like the spots it's not like a full solid line it's kind of got like that broken up line which is what i'm trying to do here
possible. I went ahead and filed and buffed off camera. So here's how the Manny's looking. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into my dip top coat. So in order for your dip top coat to dry, you do need activator. So I'm gonna apply one final layer of activator to all my nails. It's just gonna be one thin layer. And then once I've got the activator on all my nails, I'm gonna wait two minutes for my activator to dry before I go in with my dip top coat. After two minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my first layer of dip top coat. So I'm applying it on each nail in two to three really quick swipes. In between each nail, I'm making sure that I'm wiping off my brush on a lint-free wipe, just in case there's any activator on my brush. I don't wanna harden it and contaminate my bottle of dip top coat. Once I'm done with my fifth nail, I'm ready to go in with my second layer of dip top coat. And I know it's ready because my first layer is looking a little dull and wrinkly. Now for my second layer, I'm gonna take a couple more strokes, make sure that I've got my entire nail covered. And I also wanna make sure that I'm capping my free edge for longevity of my Manny. And it's really not necessary, but I still like to wipe my brush on my lint-free wipe after each nail, just in case. As always, I'm gonna finish off my Manny by rehydrating my cuticles with my skills of mermaid cuticle oil. This is in one of my favorite scents, Your Berry Sweet. I just love the sweet, fruity scent of it. And of course it's berry scented. And my skin is really dry, especially after I do a Manny. So it definitely needs that rehydration just to bring everything back to life. So I always highly recommend using cuticle oil after you finish your manicures. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. I just really wanted to use the new April flavor of the month from C in Designer Dips. These colors were just so fun and they inspired me. I haven't done, I don't think, a leopard print in a while. So I really wanted to do a leopard print and I just thought it was really fun to do that with some of the glitter. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this. And it also helps YouTube recommend me to others, which helps grow my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.